everyone got the Magpul CTR collapsible stock uh, here and this is going to be an installation video of my new cheek riser well actually a removal slash installation uh, the stock you can get a fixed uh, cheek riser uh, for this stock that uh, mounts and these four uh, slots and only gives you a half inch of a, a fixed height uh, my cheek riser will go all the way down to the stock, so it'll give you an eighth inch because I use 0.125 inch material. So it'll give you an eighth inch and it'll go up to uh, one inch height. So you get an extra half inch compared to the fixed cheek riser. So put that out of the way. You'll first want to remove uh, the butt pad to be able to put the hardware in to mount my cheek riser. And I will remove the uh, the screw and the washer. I had to 3D print the washer because there's nothing that I could find that would fit these uh, small little screws, M4 screws, um, and the nut that fits inside. So I'm going to remove all those. I'll pause it and just come back once that's done. All right, all four of the screws and washers are removed, uh, as you can see, and there's another 3D printed part underneath um, that I had to make. So that would fit into the slot um, and also into the uh, slot of the uh, stock. So that's removed. You just lift up and uh, it slides right off. So there you go, that's off. Then you've got uh, these 3D printed parts. So to get those out, um, you take your Allen key and you just push the M4 nuts out, these pop out. All right, so that's removed. So installation, remove the butt pad. You take one of these uh, wash uh, 3D printed slot adapters, I guess. Put one on each. side or every slot okay and then pretty much just reverse to put it back on um, take one side angle it down um, and put it down put it on like that get to the other side just kind of flex it up a little bit and then move it into place. There it is. You can push it all the way down. See it fits flush with the stock. Um, and then you just, then you add the nuts. So to add the nut, you hold it with your finger and then kind of put it back in there and then snap it in place. Uh, let's see if I can get, let me turn up the brightness. There we go. So there you can see the nut in there. It's at an angle. So you want to make sure that's flat and you just do that to all four of them, make sure they're flat and then screw it in. Uh, yes, the cheek riser is at an angle right now, but you can just fix that. So after I do that and tighten them in, I'll be right back. Oh, one other thing. I like to take the Allen key and push down on the nut and make it flat uh, if it doesn't work with your finger. So that's another tip. All right, got all the nuts in. So another tip, uh, if the uh, bottom part doesn't, uh, the nut doesn't go in, you can have your finger inside and then push on the top of this hole to help you know offset it and make that nut go in and then pretty much just take your screw have your finger in there holding that nut in there and just start tightening uh, just enough don't want to go too tight at first just so you can Adjust your cheek rest exactly where you need it to be. 
but pretty much that's all you do. Try not to make this a lengthy video, even though it's five minutes already. So I'm going to pause it and I'll put the rest in. All right, it's back together, um, at least the cheek riser part. So once you get it there, uh, actually I'd recommend putting Loctite, uh, blue Loctite on the screws and then inserting it just so you have some extra uh, protection or whatever from losing your, your hardware. Uh, so you can just adjust it up and down where you need to. Uh, get it exactly where you need to so you can see perfectly through your scope uh, to install this. So another thing about uh, removal of this piece is it's got these little tabs that go into the slots on either side of the stock. So you'll just want to kind of press that in. I'm doing this behind a camera, so just snap it in like that. Once it's in, you just put those two screws in, you're done. So you know, thanks for watching the uh, installation video. This is for a customer. He wanted a custom cheek riser. And I made it happen. So these ones do have Loctite on them. Uh, some type of yellow Loctite. And uh, so they're a little bit hard to remove at first, but once you get them, they're fine. We just put that back on tight. Right when you fill it, tighten up. That's all you need. So once you get this exactly where you need, um, don't tighten too hard on the uh, washers. You just want to tighten them until it just starts to to crush. The washer like that starts to make an indent and that's all you need um, and it's pretty dang solid I have to push really really hard for it to uh, slip it all but I try pushing with my face and I can't get it to push down with my face uh, it just hurts my cheek way too much so it definitely will work for for shooting so there you go. You're all crushed just a little bit on either side. I'm pulling really hard and it won't move. So, uh, so it works pretty well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Have a good one.